Okay, so I just got my new phone in today, and I already cut this open. Um, I don't think I'm going to need any scissors or razors or anything, but I'll probably be unprepared, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, just figured I'd do a little unboxing video of it. I got the Samsung Bright Side, I believe. It doesn't quite say... Yeah, the Samsung bright side. You can't see it really well, but there it is. Um, let's just set this to the side for now. Let's see what comes in our little getting started pack. Um, just stuff to activate the phone. Unimportant. Here's the cool part. Here's the little phone. Um, let's see if I can get it open. I feel like all those other people that can't get the phones open. There it is. It's in little plastic. Um, we'll set this to the side and we'll look at it in a second. And let's look at what it comes with. Um, well, that's attached. That's kind of weird. It comes with a little USB. Um, I don't know how to open this. Um, just a little USB wall charger and a USB cable, so it plugs into your computer as well. And here's a little start here pack. Second so start here pack though, because oh. Oh, this is getting started, but I guess that's just to activate your phone and all. And then you got start here, which, just excuse me for a second while I get it open. It's not really easy to do one-handed, but you know, it's whatever. Um, I guess the battery is already in the phone, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, sorry, this is the first time I've ever done an unboxing, so. A little start here. Contents, basics, apps and features, which is weird because this is a basic phone, so it's got nothing fancy really. We'll cover all this when I turn on the phone. Consumer information, important consumer information, information sobre la garantia, some blah 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 blah, product safety and warranty information, blah blah blah. Let's get into the actual fun part, the phone. Um, it's got, if you'll notice, well, I've got a little plastic protector on it, which I don't know if I'll take that off or not or yet, yet or not. Um, I didn't get a screen protector for it yet, but, oh yeah, it goes over the buttons, I'll definitely take that off. But it takes this little design, it's trying to be a basic phone that looks like a smartphone. It's got a weird texture on the back, kind of, I'm not going to have this, let this fly out of my hands too easy. It's got a nice little texture. It's got the same camera lens as the one of the droids um i can't remember which one but it's kind of cool um slides open to a keyboard we'll see if that lights up or anything later i'll take this off because there's no way i'll be able to keep that on and actually use it it's all over the edges too i guess they didn't want you to get it and be like my product is messed up um wow they have it all on the sides can't even get this one off Oh, it's on the back? That is odd. This is really fancy how careful they want to treat the foam before you get it. They really know how to take care of it. It's weird though, because even like the plastic's covered, but the camera area, not covered. Kind of odd. Um, weird manufacturing choices. It slides relatively smoothly. It's got a little bit of a click when it opens up all the way. Like a little bit of a... Oh, here, this is partially why. It's got plastic here. Um, yeah, it's a little rough on the sliding. But I guess you'll, I'll get used to it. It'll loosen up eventually. Um, that's raised up. That's kind of odd. I don't. I guess that's to just determine screen brightness. Let's turn it on and see what it's like on the inside. Um, yeah, the screen looks a lot better. It's a pretty wide display, which is nice. It's better than what I used to have. Here's my old phone. And it's also a slide open keyboard. It's the rival. And it's been broken. See, when I shut it, it turned itself off. So you'll see the speed of the startup on this. This is a resistive touch display. No, it's not resistive. Resistive. It's not resistive is what I wanted to say. I mess that up all the time. Well, that's annoying. I'll have to turn off that button beeping. But let's just say you, open, you click it to messaging. No messages. You click new message. More... You can do that, all that good stuff. 
Um, I don't have anything in here yet because I haven't tested it. I might do a little video afterwards after I've kind of screwed with it a bit. Um, you can click here and just jump around your voice. All that good stuff. And your contacts. Here's the keypad. Um, feels like smartphone interface. Like, feels good. Tools. Everything you could need. Um, that's kind of a fancy little animation when you hit the bottom. Um, it does email and stuff, but all that's done through uh, data. Which I don't have a data plan, so, you know. Um, that's kind of annoying. Like, that's kind of cool. The recents, so I don't, I mean, but I can also, oh, when I press call, it doesn't go to my recents. It goes, it has a recent button, but it goes to this display, which is kind of fancy. When I open it up, let's see what it looks like. Here's another weird thing about this phone, is that there's no home screen. There's no background on your home, oh, look, see the cube with red lights up. There's no background on your home screen. Every, this is your home screen. Your menu is your home screen. Um, I've got this message button, I click it, and it'll start a text with a person. Battery's actually kind of, a battery's kind of full. No, it doesn't slide down. It's not any, I've never seen a user interface like this. It's pretty dang fancy. This video is getting kind of long. I mean, I've kind of covered all the basics of this. It's got two different themes, I believe, which is kind of odd, because usually you have, like, five or whatever. But it's got orange and green, which I don't like. I'm going to stick with the orange for now. And then size, normal, normal fonts. Transition effects, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Worry about that later. Memory. I'll plug in my flash drive here and get all my stuff. But that's the phone. Um, that's the lock button right here, just like my old phone. So that's kind of. Oh, here's another cool little thing. Drag screen to unlock. It drags. It tries to be a smartphone, like I said before. It drags from anywhere. Like pretty fancy. That's. They probably spent some time on that just to get that. Can I drag a corner? Kind of book page, bookmark it down. Or am I just incompetent with that? There we go. See, you just gotta get the corner. So that's kind of fancy. Um, let's look at. You can't really see image quality because I don't have the best. What is this? That is not what I thought it was. I thought that was a camera button. I don't know why it didn't open the camera. I guess I clicked a button or something. Here we go, image quality. You can't really tell, but it's decent, almost decent, I guess you would say. No, um, it's up to the highest. But everything's really resist. Okay, continuous, kind of cool. Panorama, I've never had that on a phone. Um, let's see how well that works. Focus on an object. So, meet with that box. Meet with that box. Meet with that box. So you can do this pretty quickly, too. That's kind of fancy. Wow, it's a really big panoramic. And then... Okay, well, I did that so it's going to look weird because I did that. I didn't think it was that long. Picture saved. So it saves your picture before even showing it to you. That's kind of odd. How do I look at my pictures? I guess I press the little play button, like always, on every phone. Quick view. And I've got this big old picture. Can I pull sideways? Okay, it doesn't flip itself, which is kind of lame. But you'll see it here shortly, the picture. I accidentally started a call. Well, text. Don't save. I don't even have this thing activated yet. Um, That's basically it. Let's look. I don't know where camera is yet to find pictures. Oh, I guess it's right there at my pictures. That would be fancy. You click here and you can zoom in. And you can see a whole panoramic of my room, basically. Which is kind of fancy. Last picture's kind of screwed up because, you know, it changes the resolution. I can rotate and flip. I can do revisions. I can add brightness. It's kind of weird. I can do saturation and change the saturation of the picture. To the contrast and the blur that's kind of fancy I can add blur never seen that effects black and white 
What's up, yeah? Kind of stupid on the panoramic, it changes everything. So, blur. Don't know what that is. Thought it was gonna be negative for a second, but I guess not. So, that's kind of weird. Um, emboss. Nobody uses emboss. Um, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a. No, cancel. That's, that's to double your picture. Oh no, you can double your picture that way. Apparently. Which I think I almost. I think I might have done it. And how do you delete the picture? And I really don't want this picture. I guess you select it, click more, erase. And that's a small tour. I'm learning all this as I'm showing you, so it's not the best tour. I might be able to. I'm going to see if I can do a, um... That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to see later on. I might do a, um... A... Let's see what this... Oh, sorry. I'm like ADD here. It doesn't play the ringtone. Um... I'll do a more in-depth tour of this thing, phone, this phone later. Once I get used to it, I've had it for a bit. It's micro USB, which is convenient because everything I own is micro USB. Um, I may be able to get some pic, some video, some yeah, uh, some set music on here, which would be fancy. Um, even though I have my iPod already, which is I'm recording this. Wow, this is an 11-minute video. Okay, YouTube only lets me upload to 15, and I didn't realize I went so long. Sorry for rambling, guys. Um, kudos if you stayed with the whole video, but this is my new phone, Samsung Brightside. Enjoy. Well, I hope I enjoy. Thanks for watching.